caution. It is important that you consult a physician and a trainer or coach before you begin. You should have a medical checkup before starting any exercise program. General description of the small forward. Versatile and athletic. The small forward is to basketball what the utility player is to baseball. He or she plays in the post, on the perimeter, and can run the fast break off the dribble. The small forward is a good defender and rebounder, a sound passer and post-up player for scoring. Small forward typically should be able to hit three-point shots and knows not just how to shoot, but how to score points in a variety of ways. Let's talk about the offensive responsibilities of a small forward. The responsibilities of a small forward are to make sure that they utilize screens and the motion of the offense to create opportunities for themselves. It's also important that you have the ability to put the ball on the floor and create within the offense. Often, but not always, a go-to guy. He did whatever the team needed. They needed him at the point, he played the point. They needed him to post up, he posted up. Needed him on the shooting guard spot, that's what he did. Whatever the team needed, makes threes to keep the defense honest. Able to post up, multiple post moves. Good interior and exterior passer. Let's take a look at that. Here's your half court situation. If the, if the small forward is in the post, by the way, small forward is typically designated the number three guy, right? By position, point guard's number one, shooting guard's number two, for when you look at X's and O's. You got a small forward posting up. Does he have to be a good passer this way? Someone's cutting through? Yes. Does he have to be a good passer out here and kick it back out? Yes. If he's playing here, does he have to be a good passer to be able to enter into the post? Yes, he does. He's got to be a very good passer, fundamental in all areas. So a good interior, exterior passer. Small forward has to be able to score in a variety of ways. Now this includes normal fundamental shooting skills from threes to post-ups to catch and shoots to knowing how to score on offensive boards, knowing how to fill the lane and finish on the fast break. So all these things come into play. You're talking very versatile. Small forward is often in the backcourt when needed. If another team presses, Full court, half court, who's the guy there helping? Who's the guy usually running to the middle of the press to get the ball and push it up the court? It's usually a small forward, isn't it? Part of the reason for that is your small forward tends to be one of your better athletes. Tends to be one of your better athletes. And if you want to play the three, then you better become a better athlete if you're not. If you're a little slow foot, you better work on your speed. If you're a little slow on your quickness, you better work on that. If you're not strong enough physically, you need to get in the weight room. Now, that doesn't offend you two in the back, does it? You guys need to live in the weight room. That one thing alone will turn you into a much better three. You have to be a good athlete. Why? You have to have good quickness to play perimeter defense. You have to have good strength to play post-interior defense and to rebound. <laughs> so you have to be a good athlete. You have to be a good ball handler. So you need ball handling skills. 
Pippen and Jordan, were they able to bring the ball up under pressure, man-to-man -man pressure? Sure. Stop and goes. They saw the whole court. They could run the offense. They could do it under pressure. Have to have the ability to do that. You must have a jump shot. This is critical because you're the most versatile guy. This means, this includes, we talk about a shooting guard having a shot fake. It's just as vital for a small forward because you're Mr. Versatility or Miss Versatility if you're a women's, on a women's team playing. You're here, you have to have a good shot fake, be able to take a dribble and get in here into this area that we keep talking about, the garbage pit area, and pull up for jump shots. You have to have that ability. It's a shot you should work on every day. Shot fakes, one step dribble, right foot dribble if you're, you're right handed. And you have to have the ability to get there. The skills we look for defensively in a small forward are several. Generally, the small forward is the best physical talent on the floor. Many times the small forward is the go-to person. Therefore, to defend that type of person, you must be quick of foot, physically strong, and be able to make good mental decisions. You have to have excellent perimeter and post defense skills. Now, a shooting guard, we said, had to have good containment skills, true? Small forward has to have excellent advanced defensive skills. You have to know how to deny the ball. You have to know how to front the post. You have to know how to keep people in containment. You have to be able to do these things. And most of defense is mental toughness and just learning how to challenge people. There is two levels of defense when you play basketball. Level one is when you protect the basket. So you're here, guy you're covering is there, you're here. You want to protect the basket by not letting this guy buy you. You want to always stay in front of him. Does that make sense to you? You box out, if the ball's away, it's on this side, you're in a help position where you can see your man and the ball, you're pointing at both. That's level one defense, protecting the basket. 